This is an interesting question where we have a DIY security camera system. And we're told certain things about it. We're told the number of levels, number of colors in the image. We're told the resolution of the camera. We're told how many frames are being sent per minute, not per second. And we're given the bandwidth of the communication channel and the signal to noise ratio. So the first few questions are straightforward and then there's a little bit of design involved. So find the source data rate. So we're looking for R. The data rate, by definition, is the amount of data in bits divided by time. So the amount of data is equal to the number of pixels we have. So remember what we have is an image, each image can take one of 32 levels. And we're sending a sequence of images. So specifically, we're sending 10 images per minute. So we multiply by 10, because that's how much data there is in a minute, and we multiply by log 2 of 32. And we divide that by 60 because it's per minute. So that'll give us the data rate in bits per second. And that gives us 1.47 million bits per second. So that's our data rate. Now we're asked, is it possible to transmit this data error-free? Now this, we're, we're being asked indirectly, is R less than or equal to the channel capacity? So let's find what the channel capacity is. The channel capacity C, using the Hartley-Shannon theorem, is the product of the bandwidth times the log two of the signal to noise ratio. The signal to noise ratio is given in the question, but it's given as, uh, it's given in decibels. So what we want is the signal to noise ratio as a mean square power ratio. So it would be 10 to the power 30 divided by 10. So that's 1,000. So the channel capacity is the bandwidth, which is 5 times 10 to the power 6 times log 2 of 1,001. And that gives us just under 50 megabits per second. So 50 is bigger than 1.47, or we can say 1.47 is less than 49.8, R less than C, therefore transmission is possible. Okay, so is it theoretically possible to transmit the bitstream error-free? Yes, it is possible because the data rate is less than the channel capacity. So let's clear that. So it is possible. Now we've upgraded the system or we've improved the quality in two ways. So we're now sending um, RGB data, so 3 times 8 bit, we're sending 24 bit data. And we're sending 5 frames every second. So instead of sending 10 frames per minute, that's 1 every 6 seconds, we're sending 5 frames every second. And the question is, what is the signal to noise ratio to support that? So remember, for questions like this, 
what we want is R to be less than or equal to the channel capacity. And we can calculate R in the same way that we did it up there. It's simply the resolution multiplied by the bit depth multiplied by the number of frames per second. So if you do that, you get 211.7 times 10 to the power 6. And the channel capacity is B log 2 1 plus S over N. And the question is to find the signal to noise ratio. The bandwidth, I think, hasn't changed. So we still have the same bandwidth, which is 5 megahertz. So let's, let's rearrange this to see if we can find a signal to noise ratio. So the signal to noise ratio is, if we divide both sides by B, so it will be R over B, but we'll actually need to take 2 to the power R over B and then subtract 1. And that 1 is going to be so small compared to 2 to the power R over B that it doesn't really matter. We, we, we don't need to write that. And if we want to find the signal-to-noise ratio in decibels, that'll be 10 times log to the base 10 of S over N. So that means that we need 10 log to the base 10 of that. And just to rearrange this to show you how it would look, if we were to ignore that minus 1, that would allow us to bring this r over b into a coefficient there. So there we have a much easier expression to calculate. So it's simply 10 r divided by b log 2. Now, r is given. Well, we just calculated it. It's not given, but we calculated it. b is given, and the rest are just constants. So if you plug those numbers in, that gives you quite a high um, signal-to-noise ratio, 127 decibels. So that's a very difficult signal-to-noise ratio to achieve. So it needs to be a very, very low noise line. Why is that? Because what we're trying to do is to send very high resolution data relatively fast. We're sending five frames per second. So that's not very fast if you think of it as a video stream, but for a security camera um, sending individual snapshots, not as a streaming movie, but as individual frames, that's quite, um, uh, quite a, uh, a difficult thing to achieve. So you need a very high quality line. So 127 decibels, that's what's required. So finally, for the last uh, question, part D, it's asking us to design or to select suitable digitization and transmission, transmission parameters to allow this to work over a 4G link. So we only have 8 megabits per second. So we don't have the 211 megabits per second that we were just talking about. We only have 8. So what could we do? Let's say the resolution we can't change. The things we can change are the bit depth, n, and we can change the um, frame rate, the number of frames per second. 
So, we could create a little table like this. And I chose a few, um, a few trials. I thought we've tried 24 bit and we've tried um, five, sorry, 24 bit and five bit. So originally we had n equals five and we've tried n equals 24. How about we try n equals eight? n equals eight will give you two to the power eight, which is 256 gray levels, which is suitable for a security camera. And if you use 20 frames per second, that'll give you something in the region of five megabits per second. And that's less than eight. So that's good. So what you want is something that will work on a 4G mobile connection that will typically give you eight megabits per second. But remember, depending on the time of day, that eight megabit per second could be greater, could be less. So if you if you play safe and act within um, within five or six or even seven megabits per second, you're less likely to um, uh, you're less likely to um, exceed the channel capacity. What you don't want is a situation where your data is unable to be transmitted in real time because you're try trying to transmit a data rate greater than the capacity of the channel. Well, you could also try, instead of 8 and 20, try half the number of frames per second, so 10 frames per second, and 16 bits. So that will give you exactly the same data rate, but it'll give you better quality. So it'll be less smooth because you ha only have 10 frames per second, but better quality frames. Now, if you really want to push your quality up to the limit, where you want something as close as possible to eight um, megabits per second, what you could do is have 9 bits and 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second is, um, is good enough to watch as a video. So 30 frames per second is really high um, quality. For a security camera, that's more than adequate. And 9 bits per second... Um, is 512 gray levels, again, more than adequate for a security camera um, application. So this will probably give you the best quality. Now, again, you could argue that, well, I could um, have um, even more. I could have um, uh, 16 bits, and then I could have something... Um, greater than 10, 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 frames per second. But um, I think for this application, the best image quality you'll get will be using this third setting here. But it's probably not the recommended setting. So the recommended setting, I think, would be to aim for less than 8 megabit per second because you're using a 4G mobile link which doesn't necessarily have a constant uh, channel capacity. So that, that's how I would answer part D and that's your final answer.